Hello everybody and welcome to the new series of limited to only crafted items. Now through this episode we're going to be going through gathering some clothing. That's going to be our main goal is to get backpack clothing and a metal axe. What we're going to try and obtain through this series is getting the best in slot gear for everything. So that's animal skin jacket, animal pants, leather shoes, or animal skin boots. We're going to get our improvised guns and we're also going to get some type of animal helmet. I prefer to get the bear helmet but we're going to see what we end up with. Through this whole series I will not be able to use any non-crafted items. I will, however, be able to take food from the land, forage and scavenge. We're not going to be taking in any, any pre-made food. If we want to have any whole food, we're going to have to cook it ourselves. This challenge should be pretty interesting and pretty fun. So if you guys can hit that thumbs up button and sub to the channel if you find it enjoyable. Most of this footage is sped up so that it keeps the transparency of what I do and therefore not showing that I've cheated or glitched or done any admin commands or anything like that. All right, so to go over the settings, we're going to restart all to default. And now that they're all defaulted, we're going to go back to world and we're going to go to NPCs and we're going to go to 5.0. This is going to multiply the base puppets by five. Everything else is going to stay on default except the spawn distance we're going to set to 2.5, meaning the hordes will spawn 2.5 times further away than normal. That's it. Everything else will stay on default for now and we'll see how it is and we'll enjoy from there. So this is going to be a very interesting setup because our first rush is not going to be going into a EOI. We can only use crafted items, so we'll have to, I guess we'll have to still get materials to craft items, but otherwise it should be pretty straightforward. First thing I'm going to craft is a bow, obviously, but that means we can only use wooden arrows. We can only use an improvised backpack, so we're going to need to get sewing kit, sewing kit pretty early. All right, first thing we're going to do is look for some rocks. We're not going to cut up any of our clothing because this is pretty much all the clothing we can use. If you look at the crafting here, there's not really many pieces of clothing we can craft besides the skin jacket, skin pants, so on and so forth. We actually need animal skins for that. So I guess the best weapon we're going to be able to get is this bat with Nate. That will be our goal. But for now, in this episode, we're going to work on getting some clothing. So the animal skin jacket, animal skin pants, one of these hats, maybe even an improvised bulletproof vest, definitely an improvised backpack, and the quiver. So those are our goal for us right now. We can also get improvised boots. Eventually we'll be ditching these clothing, but for now, since we don't want to freeze to death and have a very boring video, this is going to be the start. So that simply just means that there's going to be more animals and other things that we run into. Okay, that was really tough. Our first piece of thread already. Now we just need to find a puppet to kill. Or we only have one arrow. All right, problem solved. This is our first guy to kill. First things first, we're going to go ahead and cut up the body to make a bone needle. Once we got that, we're just gonna quickly search some of these rocks to make another knife. That way our ax doesn't get broken down too much from crafting because we kind of want that ax to be used as a melee weapon. We're gonna craft two, one to put up there and one to use with the thread right now. Then we're gonna go ahead and make an animal skin quiver. That's going to be the biggest amount of space we're going to get, and then fill it up with arrows. I'm going to go ahead and cut this up into rags. We did get three pieces. Okay, so what do we need for this? We just need some rope. Anything else we need? No, it does not look like it. So far, if you guys are liking the video and you want to see more of this kind of challenges, please subscribe and comment down below what you want to see. And don't forget to like the video. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we've got our improvised courier backpack, an upgrade would be this backpack here. For this one, we're going to need two skins, six rags, and 20 rope, which should be easy to get. So I think the entire goal of this series is going to be crafting every single item in the game at least once. I think that'll take quite a long time and add a good complexity to the game. It should be a little fun experiment, and hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so we've got 24 arrows. That's plenty right now. Plenty for what we want to do. We're gonna start. We're gonna need to start forging, getting some food. Anything's better than nothing. So about food, what do you guys think? Should we only use crafted meals, or should we be able to eat things that we forge as long as they're not complete meals? Or just what's your opinion of it in general? Please let me know in the comments below. Not the best food to eat. Uh, doesn't really have that many carbs at all. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Mainly it's the water we're looking for. Oh, fruit trees too. Nice. Right now our goal is to get some scrap metal, a stack of bolts, a stack of nails. I'm trying to think of what else we need to craft some of these items. Let's just favorite these things so we don't lose them. I didn't know they spawn inside buildings. Thank goodness nobody else heard his scream. So I don't know how do you guys think about the craft grinding stone, so I'll pick it up for now, but I'll tell you why I'm picking it up. Recently I've tried to use a toolkit on a weapon that needed a um, to be repaired with a sharpening stone or to be, you know, a, a sharp object. But for some reason at the lathe, it would do the animation. We would we would load, or we would repair the thing and then it just wouldn't make it any more repaired. It just, it didn't do anything. So if that is a glitch right now, I'm really hoping that it gets fixed. But in the meantime, to counter that glitch, I think picking up grinding stones and using them on our metal items are is going to have to be the way we're gonna go about doing this. Now, I really wanna take that cleaver, but it is not a crafted item. I am unable to take it. But we can't take any whole items. We can take uh, crafting resources and stuff like that. The reason we're taking cash is because we will eventually need propane, fuel, gasoline, and whatnot for our improvised flamethrowers and other objects and tools we have. Now, I would like to know your guys' opinions on this. Is using a vehicle if we crafted it from scratch okay? Or what about a bicycle if we find the tires? Or should we just say no mode of transportation at all besides my legs? Please comment down below what you guys think so that we can decide how this series it goes. So space is always gonna be a limiting factor on this playthrough. Okay, well, we're gonna pick up these things. good rags. There's our first bolt. We can always craft bolts and nails as well. Honestly, I think a fishing rod would be a really good way to get a consistent source of food for now, but it's actually going to take so much. Oh, we'll hold on to it for now. If we don't need any more, we'll just get rid of it. More bolts. No nails yet, though. Rope, that's a crafting item. Really need it right now, though. But the most recent change on how rope pretty much can be used, any type of rope does the exact same thing. There's no real need of getting specific... Ah, uh, it's not a crafted item. Darn. Okay, hold on. Can we use screwdrivers then? I will hold on to these things and you guys let me know what you think if we can use screwdrivers or not to open, unlock containers. Even though we're not going to get anything crafting in there. So we'll take any food that is in its raw form. You know what, there's no point in picking up screwdrivers or lockpicks. Nothing in there is going to be stuff that we can use. So I'm kind of contemplating if I could make something, should I only use that? Because technically a toolkit 
I can make a toolkit. So I shouldn't use that one. I should go and make my own toolkit. All right, we've got some scrap. We need a lot more nails. We have not got any nails yet. Or sorry, we've only got one nail. Look at that. Ask and you shall receive. We will need that for the flamethrower, but I have a feeling we're gonna find another one relatively easy. Okay, can I make anything yet? Uh, we need an empty bag. Oh, I'm pretty sure I saw an empty bag too. We can craft an empty bag. They're not that hard to craft as well. Two down. I think of what else we need. If we need any more animal or puppet skin at all, I don't know. Make an improvised staff or vest. We don't improvise mask. We do. And we need some for the necklaces, so we're gonna have to chop up the body and start collecting three ears or one teeth. That's it. Make one of each. That's a skinny puppet. I've fallen and I can't get up. That must have been a pretty intense fall. Our axe is going to get broken here pretty quickly. Quickly as well, so we're going to have to find an alternative axe, which shouldn't be too difficult, considering the axe we want is this one. We've already got enough stuff for it except the toolkit. Like a bunch of these items on. As soon as we craft one of them, we'll take them off of our list of things to do. So that will be our next one. Probably rock the teeth one. The ears one's just going to look too weird. And I would like to get a bear helmet, a bear hat, but I'll be happy to get any of those ones, any four of those. All right, here's our necklace. How's it look? Can't even see it. That's, that's lame. What about the ear one? Can we see the ear one at least? Necklace done. I didn't see any of them. Is it because of the shirts on? It is, it's the shirt. Alright, well, whatever. Lots of food to be had here. Only thing is, we're gonna be running a lot of protein, I'm assuming. As long as we keep our carbs up, we should be good with protein. Now we need an empty sack. Somebody's not happy with us. our first horde kind of ran away from that one let's see she's still on us she's got permanent aggro on us so this is the default amount of puppets for a horde there's nothing special about them the only difference that I have set up is that there'll be five times as many normal puppets but horde sizes will remain the same as you can see, there was roughly about seven to ten of them. I don't know why I keep missing the shot.
That was quite a few arrows we used up there. What? Sorry, I should say that's quite a few arrows we missed there. Alright, let's go finish off getting some more nails. Okay, there's pretty much nothing in there that we're going to be able to use besides soap. And we don't really need soap to clean much. Basic archery, nice. I'm trying to get enough so we can make this axe. Which I think we have everything except the toolkit. For both of them. I would like some higher quality metal so we get a better quality axe though. Almost got a full stack of bolts now. Not really the end of the world if we don't find any more bolts because we can simply just craft or any more nails because we can just craft them with scrap. I said I would really like to find a little bit better quality scrap. I don't know if we're going to be able to find any though. Sheesh. That scared me. Alright, well, we're not really going to be able to use that. But we will open it to see what we could have gotten. What would we have gotten from Mr. Santee? Of course. Of course. You can't use that. You can't use that. You can't use that. All, none of it's crafted items, but hey. Still kind of nice to see, so that's uh, something you could get as a drop. UMP45, a magazine, some chocolate, liquor, and some food. Oh, we got enough bolts for now. We don't need any more. We need a, a empty bag for the raincoat. Everything else we have for the other stuff, we just need the sewing kit, which we still have. We need to kill some animals. I'm going to pick up that duct tape because the quality of the duct tape to repair gear doesn't matter. So once we make this improvised raincoat, we'll probably need, well, we will need duct tape to repair it fully because that's what it takes to repair raincoats now. We can honestly just craft the empty bag. Here he comes. He had entity aggression with me, so he'll go to the spot that I was at behind the house. Oh, see, he just turned and saw me there. Felt like I was gonna miss that shot, so I just took the safe shot and went for center mass. Ah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Cabbage is pretty much useless, so we're just going to eat it for the carbs, proteins, and fats. As soon as we find another piece of good quality clothing, we will uh, cut it up. This, I'm playing this after a couple hot fixes, so the rates in which puppets get mad at you and actually spawn hordes has been, I think, nerfed. Um, but just to keep all the settings the same, I wanted to uh, same uh, challenges, the, the same difficulty. I just decided to leave it at five times puppets, which I believe is more than generous, and simply uh, bump it up after we complete a couple challenges to see 
exactly what sits as a, a, a nice challenge for us or not. Alright, well we got one piece one shirt there we can use. We're just gonna make ourselves another knife real quick. Another stone knife. We're gonna make ourselves another yeah, stone knife and then make ourselves a couple ropes so we can get that metal hatchet. Oh, we need a toolbox. Oh, that's what I'm tripping on. I'm like, I swear I need something else. Okay, so for now, then we'll put the long stick in our inventory. officially lost the uh, spot where we cut up the rags. So we're gonna take some off this guy. Perfect. Have our wonderful new axe. Look at all the other stuff just opened up. 84% not bad. And we'll use the grinding stone up on it because toolbox doesn't work. And voila, we've got a perfect metal axe. Look at that big puppy. So we have the best bow, we have the best axe. Uh, honestly, the baseball bat's gonna be really hard to find, but so for now we're just gonna get a, a club with nails. And we're probably gonna have to build some sort of storage. Hold on to a lot of stuff. So we'll probably have to go build a little cabin in the woods somewhere. How did that go down? I'm gonna use the toolkit on it. Just repair it all the way to full again. Oh, almost full. It's all sitting there. We'll have that on our quick slot. Got our arrows. We've got lots of arrows left. A bye to the stone axe. So I think that is good enough for one episode. It took a lot longer than I thought to record this. It's over an hour of gameplay. So hopefully you guys found this enjoyable. If you like this challenge, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see something different, comment down below. We're accepting challenges to do in the game modes. As we get further and further along with the progressions of these challenges, I will add more and more complexity and difficulty to them. But for now, as you guys know, we are currently on the NPC settings of five times puppets. Per player doesn't matter and per player cap doesn't matter. The respawn's default, the batch size is default, everything else is default except the spawn distance of hordes is 2.5 times further because I found that if at 1.0 they were spawning pretty much uh, less than 40 meters away from you, which was too close in my opinion. Maybe we'll knock it down to just two times and the activation chance is normal, everything's normal. Maybe we'll increase these numbers as the challenges go on if we find it's getting too easy. But until next time guys, have yourselves a great one and please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next episode.